Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Melissa Oliver and I'm a paparazzi independent consultant and I wanna show you in this video how to set up your online store with Square through Reebly. This is the second video in a series. So if you haven't seen the first video that shows you how to set up your inventory on Square, go ahead and check that out before you continue watching this one. It's okay, you can pause this video and come back later. The link is right there for you to check out the first video. If you watched the first video already, thanks for coming back. In this video, I wanna show you how to sync your Square inventory to your Weebly store and how to design your website using simple but classy templates on Weebly. Before I show you how to make the transfer, I wanted to clarify a couple things that have come up between the first video and this one. First thing I wanted to clarify is a domain name. As soon as I decided on a business name, I purchased a domain name with GoDaddy. That domain, elevationjewels.com, was forwarded to my paparazzi replicated website. Once I opened an online store with my personal inventory, I simply redirected my domain to my Square store. I'll make a video showing you how to do that if you've already purchased a domain name with GoDaddy. And if you haven't, now's a good time to do so. Second is at this point, uh, most of my inventory is online. I only invoice through Square, so my record keeping is all in one place. I don't do PayPal, no Cash App, no Venmo, nothing like that. Um, even my cash transactions, I register in Square. When someone makes a purchase from a Facebook Live party, I invoice them through Square. The item name then appears on the invoice. For me, this is important as a record keeping um, for the future. I haven't had this happen yet, but in the event that someone needs to return a piece for a repair, I would be able to verify that the piece was actually purchased from me and not someone else. As a business owner, it's important that you have a return or exchange or repair policy. Even if your policy is that you don't do them, it needs to be clearly communicated to your customers so they know how your store functions. I'll make a video about business policies in the near future, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your notifications on. Um, when items are out of stock, the photo remains on your website. However, if a customer clicks on it to make a purchase, an out of stock message is visible to them and they won't be able to check it out. Finally, Chrome appears to be the best browser to use for this process. If you're having difficulty using Square on your desktop and you have access to Chrome, you can add your inventory directly through the Square app on your phone, click on the items function in the menu, and then create an item. If you guys have other questions about this process, please drop them in the comments below and I'll respond there. I can also make additional tutorials if the response is complex. Okay, so now we're in our Square dashboard. You're going to be over here in your menu and you're going to scroll down until you see online store. That's going to take you here. This is not what you're going to see, right? Weebly is going to walk you through setting up your store. You're going to need to sync, choose that option to sync immediately. Okay. Um, because if you don't, then it's going to be a big headache for you to get your information from Square into Weebly after the fact. You'll see several options, but Weebly is free 99. Um, as a new business owner, I'm trying to minimize my business expenses, so Weebly works for me. There are upgrades and bonus features, but I can do without them. You can probably do without them too if you're just now starting out. So you definitely want to make sure that you um, can see everything in your Weebly store. Uh, so you'll go to your store and make sure that your inventory is set once the transfer is done, okay? You wanna make sure that you have everything there, that the pictures are okay, that the images are okay, that you're not missing anything, that nothing you know, didn't transfer over. One thing I do wanna point out that's a flaw in Weebly, and I'll figure this out and get, let, get back to you guys about this, our longer pieces don't show well in the, um, in the icon for the item. So once I figure that out, I will come back and, you know, do either a comment or add edit the description or make another tutorial for how to fix that. So now you're in your website, right? You're going to go and you're going to edit your website. There are tons. And again, you're going to see something different because you're just setting yours up. But there are tons of templates to choose from. Choose the template that works for you and for your business. And you can go ahead and start editing it, right? You're going to see stock photos, 
recreate those stock photos with yourself using, you know, paparazzi accessories. Those models look great, but they're not wearing our jewelry. You can and you should, if you have a logo, include your logo, right? So anything that you click on in the template is going to take you right to that menu item. You can change the logo. I don't have a logo yet, so it's just elevationjewels.com up here at the top. You can change the navigation. You can change your menu items. You can add whatever you want. It's up to you. Remember, this video is more to show you how and not necessarily what, okay? So you can change your banner. This shop now button takes people directly to my store right here on Weebly. But then further down, I have a shop for more, which is going to take people to, if I click on that, it'll take you to this, right? And so each has an action button. If you have an action button, you can edit that and just change the website change where that's being directed to so the shop for more is taking people to my replicated website okay i recommend that you let people know how to do that too i also recommend that you let people know that they can sell paparazzi and this link is going to direct people right to the um, join my team link on my paparazzi replicated website okay so you want to do that too featured products is super important because this is where you highlight your jewelry. You don't need to have all of your jewelry on the same landing page. You can make it sleek, right? When you go to, you know, Banana Republic, you don't see all of the shirts on the landing page. You have to go to that category. So you want to make your website classy as well. Put some pieces in the featured products. You can and see again, you click on a piece in the template and it'll take you right to that um, menu item. You can add featured products. You can create a title. You can do all of this, right? You can change the prices, right? You're not going to change the prices. All of this is going to show up because you have it in your inventory, but you can change the color. You can change how many columns you have. You can change how spaced apart they are. Like you can do all of this in your, um, in, as you're editing your website. Okay, guys. So go ahead, play with it. See how you like it. If you have questions about setting up your actual website, drop those comments in the description below. And what I also want you to do is subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure that you let your friends, your teams know about this video if they are interested in setting up a Square store through Weebly. Um, and turn your notifications on, guys. That is super helpful because I'm going to be adding videos as this process goes along. And I don't want you to miss out on any of those steps. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. God bless.